Hi guys, Greg from Pilot Institute here. And today I want to do a quick comparison of the CX-3, this uh, digital computer here, and the good old E6B. Now you can tell this E6B has lived for a while. Uh, it's a little dirty, it's got scratches on it, it's got notes on the top. So I've been using this thing for a long time, but I recently discovered the CX-3. And I have to say the CX-3 is a pretty awesome tool. I know some of you struggle using this. So what I want to do actually is I want to see which one's actually faster. So I created a little exam and I'm going to go and take the exam myself once with the E6B first and then using this thing. And I'm not going to write down the answer until I find it on one of these. And then at the end, we'll compare the two and see how long it took to complete the exam and see which one is actually more precise. And if I made any mistakes along the way, hopefully I don't, um, but let's get started. Let's have fun. Let's start with this one and go through all the questions that I have on this exam. So here's the exam right here. There's only about 11 questions total. And it's a mix of different things. It's a mix of, uh, we're gonna do conversions, we're gonna do a density altitude stuff, we're gonna do true airspeed stuff. It, basically everything that you would do with an E6B and with a CX-3. So uh, I have these in here. We're gonna start the timer and uh, we're gonna get started. So first off, I'm gonna be using the uh, E6B right here and I'll be writing down my answers next to it right here. And then, uh, and then I'll switch and go to the CX-3. Okay, in three, two, one, go. So as you can tell, this was a lot, lot, lot quicker using the CX-3 rather than the E6B. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the result and see how many points I actually got and if all of it was correct. So what I got on the left is the E6B and on the right I've got the CX-3. So I'm just going to go through each of them. 45 US gallons, 170 liters, it's all good. 238 statute miles is 206 nautical miles, that was good. And then in here, uh, base 10. So actually I missed that one up here in the E6B, I should have done base 10, which is actually the same. 2.36, two hours and 36 minutes, which is 2.6. So that's good on both sides. And then in here, if you travel 1.3 hours for 254 nautical miles, what is your ground speed? Then I actually messed that up in the E6B right here. Oops, uh, 195 is the correct answer, it makes more sense. And then, 166 pounds here for 23 imperial gallons, 165 with a CX-3, close enough. And then here the conversion, 86 miles per hour versus 83, again, pretty close. Uh, density altitude, that did not work out. I got 6,000 with the E6B and 5353 53 here, so that's another error here with the E6B. And let's keep going up here. And um, while flying, and I think what happened here was the 35, uh, Fahrenheit, I was trying to go fast to convert that using the bottom of the E6B and then line everything up. Uh, that just didn't work out. So uh, in here we have uh, flying at 8500 was the true airspeed. I got 200 here, which is good. And then 198 here, that makes sense. 34 minutes, 33 minutes when we're trying to uh, go 95 nautical miles at 168 knots. And then if your plane burns 20, uh, 12 gallons an hour and you fly for 1.7, I got 21.4 here and 20.4 right here for the uh, gallon. I think I may have misread this again, going too fast. And then the last one, 125 and eight, 125 and eight, yeah, that's pretty close. So two errors on the E6B, no errors on the CX-3. So you can see, even with somebody experienced with the E6B, trying to go fast and trying to get these things done under pressure, the CX-3 is going to most definitely be more precise and a lot quicker if you know how to use it. So with that being said, I'm gonna leave you with these results. Uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe. We've got a lot more videos coming up in the future. Also like the video, leave a comment. And then uh, if you want me to do more things related to the CX-3, please let me know and I will record those. And in the meantime, I will see you guys later.